we are now looking at a couple of models of the larynx. Here's a small one that comes from the thoracic model and here's a large one. And again, uh, each of them points out, each of them represents these things just slightly differently. So we'll be sure we find them on both of them. Um, first, we'll start with the large one and see what that has to offer us. Um, the larynx model, the larynx model, um, important part of that is the hyoid bone. So here is the hyoid bone which of course is not part of the larynx. Now we're into part of the larynx. Here is the thyroid cartilage. This great big shield-like thing is the thyroid cartilage. Down here we see a representation of the cricoid cartilage. And if I turn this around, you get a sense of the cricoid cartilage, how it increases and is larger in size toward the posterior of it. So. Here's the big thyroid cartilage, here's the cricoid cartilage that is actually bigger posteriorly. Then we have the tracheal cartilage rings here. Here's the thyroid gland, or at least half of it. We have a couple of ligaments you're responsible for. Here is a ligament found between the hyoid bone and the thyroid cartilage. That is the hyothyroid ligament or membrane. Here we have a ligament found between the cricoid cartilage and the tracheal cartilage, and that is the cricotracheal ligament right there. Um, we also have um, a representation of the epiglottis. You can see the epiglottis up here, which is going to close over the flap. On this model, that's the epiglottis. On this model, here is a representation of the of the uh, vocal cords, just these little strings right here. It's trying to show you how vibrating that open and closes that. And that's the best we can do on that model. Now, to get a little bit closer look, let's run through these things quickly here. <clears throat> We've seen them uh, before when we did the thoracic model. Uh, here is the hyoid bone, hyothyroid ligament, thyroid cartilage, cricoid, cricol tracheal ligament and tracheal cartilage. Now I'm going to split this and we'll take a look on the inside. Here is the epiglottis. Matter of fact, before I do that, let's look at the epiglottis. There's the representation of the epiglottis. Now when I split it, you'll see here is the uh, blue cartilage part of the epiglottis. This is the thyroid cartilage. Here's the cricoid cartilage, small anteriorly, large posteriorly. And here we have the vocal cords. This is the true vocal cord and this is the false vocal cord. The false vocal cord is called the ventricular fold. This is the true one and between the two is the ventricle, meaning the space between the two folds. Um, when we put this back together, we'll be able to see, I think, the last thing on your list, which is the, vin, uh, the laryngeal prominence. This is the laryngeal prominence, and when I turn it to the side, you can see that it's the part that sticks out the furthest, more, moves anteriorly the furthest. And probably can see it here, too. Here's the laryngeal prominence right there. Okay.